Oh my goodness! Hey guys, what's up? LD Tiny Lady here and welcome back to the Crazy Craft World, the crazy multiplayer server where I play Minecraft with my friends and this is where we all live. If you've been keeping up with the series, you might notice that this little Nyan cat is actually a new addition and that is what I'm going to be showing you today. So as you can see on the map, it looks pretty cool. Let's zoom in on that there. Oh yeah, look at that. Some of you might be a little worried because my spirit animal unicorn has disappeared from the place where Joey placed it, but do not worry. My lovely spirit animal is up here on this little cloud. He has been relocated to a more godlike location and I think he will enjoy it. So obviously today we are building my secret base. Although it's not very secret because you can probably guess it's right underneath this little rainbow here. So I thought this would be a really cool ceiling for the base. But the question is, how the heck do you get down there? You can look down on all of my secret operations and whatever the heck I'm going to do down there. But how do you get in without breaking and entering through this glass? Which would be super easy for someone to do. But I guess they wouldn't do that because everyone on this server is nice. And does not burgle other players. Except for when they do. We have a little secret corridor as you can see. Now this corridor actually runs across here under the rainbow road and into the house where I've actually forgotten where the entrance is. Okay, now I remember. The way to enter the base is very secret. An intruder would never be able to find it without prior knowledge of how to access the secret tunnel. Is it a lever? No. Is it a button? No. It is a weighted pressure plate, yes. A rarely used item in Minecraft, but one I think makes my evil layer even more awesome. So where is the weighted pressure plate you ask? Well, it is right here. It is this diamond block on this very dance floor right here. So to activate a weighted pressure plate, you just have to put an item on it. So I am just going to put a diamond on there. You can put any item on there. And as you can see, it has activated the trap door, which is right here. There. Oh, there's no water down there yet. So this might hurt, but I guess we'll test it. Aloop. Ow. And now we are down in the secret tunnel. I'm gonna be decorating my base and filling it with some awesome stuff today. So let's see what we are working with. How beautiful is that ceiling? And then we've got all this space to keep backpacks and inventory pets and other secret things that I don't know what they are yet. But I actually, oh, how do I get out of here now? Ah. The problem is, that after a while, the item that is on the weighted pressure plate despawns and therefore it will close this trap. So I might suffocate in here. Let's get out while we can, shall we? Moth mode to the rescue. Ha! Okay, let's grab that diamond back before it disappears out of existence and then that closes the trap. So something really disturbing that I actually discovered while I was constructing my own secret base has freaked me out so much. Somewhere around here is a trap door. Look at that. What is that? Who has put this here? Why? I kind of want to investigate but at the same time I don't because that's creepy. Who put this here? Does anyone know? My beautiful cat kitchen feels violated by this secret passageway. I'm going down. I've got to see. I've got to see what it is. Oh gosh, it's a really narrow passageway with these candles, which I keep burning my face on every time I walk past them. I hear water. Oh, it's freaking me out. Where does this go? What the heck? There's a little door. Oh my goodness. Joey's secret base. Joey! <laughs> There's a tunnel directly into Joey's secret base. Oh my goodness. Joey, you sneaky, sneaky person. <gasps> it's under the waterfall. Wow, today is an episode full of secret bases. So we can actually just get back to my house very easily because it's right next to Joey's house. We should do something now that we know where that secret passageway is. We can get right into Joey's base and, and do something weird. Why does he need a secret tunnel to my kitchen? That's what I want to know. <gasps> Has he been stealing my food? Nope, it's all there. So as you guys know, I'm very fond of my backpack collection and I keep it hidden away in this little chest of drawers up here. At the moment, we actually only have seven backpacks, which is a little embarrassing considering that I am such a lover of backpacks. Not in a weird way. But I wanted to put them out on display down in the secret base where they will be safe 
yet seen. Where shall we put the backpacks? I'm thinking maybe we line them up on this wall here. So I really like the idea that everyone else has got of rainbow shelves. So Joey, for example, has got these little rainbow stained glass blocks. We also gave CPK something similar when we gave him his secret base. So he has got these really awesome colored glass stair blocks. <gasps> Wait, has he collected another backpack? Nice work, CPK. So I think I'm actually gonna copy this one again and build this for myself this time because it's just so cool. I love the way that you can put the backpack on the corresponding color shelf and it just looks really awesome. So why is he keeping us in a pen? I don't know, I don't want to know. Let's do moth mode to get out of here. Unfortunately, I did not come up with a better system for exiting the base for CPK and I've done the same with my own base now. Maybe I'll put some ladders. So let's pull the lever and hide the base and then head back to get the stairs in my own. Okay, so we got our rainbow shelves. I tried to make as many different colors as possible to correspond with the backpack. So now we just need to decide what colors to put the backpacks on. I think this ocelot probably would go on the orange and then the chicken can go on the yellow. This bat probably should go on the black. And I missed. And I missed again. Nah, I keep missing. There we go, finally. I don't know if that matches. Maybe that should go on the brown instead. Oh well. I've got green. Let's put the creeper on light green. And I'm going to put the Nyan cat on dark blue, I think. Because he's just the rainbow. Where are you going to put him? Let's put the horse on brown. Um, horse on brown, cookie on orange. I think that looks pretty good. So we just need to complete our collection and it should look really awesome. In fact, there's actually a backpack I really wanna get to go here. It is the villager backpack and I know just where to get it. There is a villager in Far Far Away in Abercrombie and Witch and I am trapped in here. Oh, oh dear. Well, we could just teleport, I guess. You can teleport out, but you can't teleport in. Ow. So, to trade with this villager, we are going to need emeralds and a backpack. So, we definitely have the emeralds. And I'm pretty sure we have a backpack up here. Yes. So, we actually need to teleport to Far Far Away because, as you can guess, it is Far Far Away. Yes, it is uh, over here. Abercrombie and Witch is right there. Ow! I'm in so much pain right now. I think we should go to Burger Prince and get a burger. Oh no, I left my big Bertha at home. Oh gosh, I hope there's no huge mobs I need to kill. I don't know if you think this is gross or not that I just ate a burger off the wall, but I don't care. I'm just here to get my backpack that I want. Let's trade with this guy. Give me your finest villager backpack. Yes, we got it. You can keep those extra emeralds as a tip. Now we need to get back home again, all the way over here. I think I'm gonna teleport into my pond so that I don't hurt myself. Now, we just need to get back down into the base. I just absolutely love that pressure plate. I love that I'm the only one that knows where to put the item to. Nobody else would ever be able to guess that. Oh, this is gonna look so great in the collection. Oh yes. We might need some light down here. I've just realized it's a little bit dark. We got some beautiful light in here now. We got some lovely chandeliers. Oh, wow, look, you can see my spirit animal up in the sky there. So now I think we should bring down our inventory pets. At the moment, our collection is somewhat scattered. So I'll need to, oh no, I'm trapped again. Dang it. I really need a better system for this. So we have some inventory pets here. Yeah. And then we also have, oh man, what, what the? I just got an achievement for having all these inventory pets on at once. And I've got some crazy effects. I've got night vision and speed. So I believe we also have some inventory pets up here because we just didn't have enough room for all of them down there. Yep, we got the heart, the Illuminati pet, and some of these guys. Now, where shall we place our precious inventory pets? I think against this wall, maybe. I don't know how many we will collect in total. I'm not sure how many there are in the game, but the goal is to one day have them all. Wow, this is all I have? I definitely thought my collection was more impressive than that. So it'd be cool if we could fill this whole wall with inventory pets, but obviously my collection is kind of embarrassingly small at the moment, so I can't really do that. So I think we should try and get a few more backpacks to add to our collection and also maybe craft some inventory pets too to make this place look a little cooler. Oh, I know! 
I made a few different kinds of carpet to test out just in case they aren't all hideous. So let's test out this one. That one's okay. <gasps> Maybe for a little doormat. We can have a little doormat here. There we go. So when you walk in, wipe your feet. Scoot, scoot. And let's see if this yellow one's very nice. Oh, oh, what? What, what is that? I'm not a big fan. I really like this green, though. I just think it looks so cute. So I think I'm going to use the green. Oh, this looks good. I like that. So let's see what backpacks we should craft. Oh, we could get the ghast backpack to go on the white block. <gasps> Wait, hang on. What's this? I like this pink one. Oh, that's just pink wool around an adventure backpack. So we can make this one. Let's also try and get the ghast. Oh, dang. What is that? A fire charge? Gas tears? Gunpowder? Oh, what is that? That one looks kind of cute. So let's first of all go for the pink backpack, which is super easy to make. I just need a few materials. Wait, where am I going to get pink wool from? I don't have any sheep anymore. Ugh, if only Ollie still had his girlfriend. I could steal her wool. Oh, hang on. We've got loads. Apparently, we already raided Ollie's wool supply. So we just need a couple of these. And then we can start crafting. So let's combine the backpack with the pink. I'll make a kawaii pink backpack. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna wear it. Wait, was that my cat? Scary, what are you doing? How did you stand up? You're supposed to be trapped. Scary? Scary? What's going on? Why have all the butterflies stopped? Well, that was creepy. Scary, you've been a bad kitty. So we got a beautiful pink backpack. I'm gonna try it on and see what it looks like. Oh dang, that looks good with my hair. Oh wow. I love it. I love it a lot. Oh! So next I wanted to get this overworld backpack. So I need light blue wool. <gasps> grass blocks. Oh no! How am I supposed to get grass blocks? Hmm. Let's see. I have one grass block. So it looks like I need a silk touch. We just need one more grass block. So I'm going to see if I have silk touch on any of my tools. Nope. <laughs> I have literally no tools. Okay. Ugh, I don't even have an enchanting table. Does anyone have an enchanting table? Maybe Waffles has one. Or Scott. Let's have a look. So we're going to need some kind of tool. Let's see if we've got a spade. I'm going to make a diamond spade. Because why not? This is crazy craft. And diamonds are so plentiful. I can't believe I'm going through so much effort to get a backpack. But that just shows you the dedication that I have to bags that are worn on my back. Here we go. Diamond shovel. Probably not going to get the right enchantment on the first go. Although I have 86 enchantment levels, so that will not be an issue. Okay, I might have overdone it a little on the shovels. I'm going to laugh so hard now if we get silk touch on the first attempt. And by laugh, I mean cry. I'm going to cry so hard. So now we just need to find somebody on the Crazy Craft server that was smart enough to build an enchanting table. My guess is it's going to be waffles. That is a man who has an enchanting area. What the heck? Waffles has been duplicating mannequins. <laughs> and that is the scariest thing I have ever seen. Okay, moving on. Wait, I see an enchanting table. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's try this level 30 enchantment. No, that was efficiency on breaking and fortune. Okay, so let's see what this one is. Nope, not silk touch. Oh gosh, please be silk touch. Let's take a quick trip to the experience tree and get some bottles. But now we should have enough and really hope. Yes! Silk touch. Whew! Three shovels in, two experience levels left. What the heck? <gasps> Wasn't me. I don't have a shot. Ah, I don't have a sword today. I don't have my sword. And also I'm hungry, so I can't run. Now I just need to take my diamond shovel and get some grass. Ta-da! And now we can craft the beautiful backpack that I've always wanted. I'm gonna transform into that which nearly killed me, a mantis. Ew, I'm so hideous. But at least now we can craft the backpack that I wanted. I can't even fit through my own door, what the heck? I didn't realize that they were so big they couldn't fit through this massive door. I guess I'd better be a beaver. Ow, what the heck? Oh, another mantis is attacking me. Help, help, help. Ow. So we need the backpack in the middle, the wool on top, the grass on either side, and the cobble on the bottom. Ta-da! We have it. 
And also a load of shovels, which I'm going to put somewhere. Where should I put the shovels? I'm just going to put them in the lake. Pop them in the lake. Pop them in the lake. Ah, Mantis is back. <laughs> Die. I am a beaver finding a mantis. Ah, I picked up all the shovels again. I hate my life. I think I'll go back to being a human again now because as lovely as it is being a beaver, that tooth flap is kind of distracting. Flappy, flappy. Ah yes, the walrus hat returns. So we got two of the three backpacks that we wanted to make. We are wearing one of them. So we've actually got this cake backpack, which I totally forgot about because I've been wearing it. But we can add that to the collection too. So finally, we're gonna make the ghast backpack, which is actually gonna be kind of difficult because I don't remember ever seeing a ghast here. How do you make a fire charge? Oh, we're gonna need to kill some things. Some blazers and some ghasts, but that should be pretty easy. So let's grab some food and head to the nether. I think we have some gunpowder already, so uh, we don't because we used it all on the TNT. Oh well, we'll find a creeper when we get back from the nether. Why has Joel not removed this beautiful painting yet? Probably because he loves it. I, I would love that too, if it was mine. Off we flip flop. Oh gosh, what's happening? What the heck? What on earth? That's a normal zombie. What are you doing here? Why are there butterflies here? What's going on? What the heck is going on here? So we gotta find a nether fortress, which is easier said than done, I think. If I become a bird, I should be able to fly around here with no problem at all. The power of flight. Oh, hang on. Is that it? That looks like it. Right. So we're on the lookout for some blazes. And I only brought my ultimate sword with me because Big Birth has taken a break. Big Bertha needs a break. Hello, I need you. I need your blaze powder stuff. What? I only got a blaze rod. I didn't get any powder. Do they? Oh, I do have blaze powder. Okay, let's get some more just to be safe because you don't know how much we need. Just gonna poop you on the nose. Bo oh gosh, poop you both on the nose. Oh well, we have plenty now, that's fine. We just need to find this gas that I can hear and lure it to a place where I can kill it and still collect the loot. Come over here, my pretty. Hoi! Oh my gosh, just hit one at me and I can... Ta-da! Give me the gas tears. Where did it go? Where is my precious loot that I worked really hard for? <gasps> there it is! Got it. Okay, we got one. I'm pretty sure we need four. Yep, we need four. So, just a few more ghasts then. Hey, I see you, baby. Shaking that ghast. Aha, now I got you. Sort of. Oh, I got it! Yes! Oh, I got two gas tears from that one. So I only need one more ghast. Also, I found out that if I go in the lava, it doesn't hurt. Or if I set on fire, it doesn't hurt. Which is handy. Oh, hello. Just gonna boop you on the nose. Boop. Wow, that's super easy. <gasps> there's a ghast here. Right next to the fire. We got six. Okay, we can head back now. Oh, there's the portal. Joel's portal, everybody. Give it up for Joel's portal. I'm home. Now I just need to find a creeper. Are they creepers? They look like creepers. Look, all the creepers are different colors. That's so cute. Do I have it? I've got 16, all right. Mission accomplished. That was faster than I thought. What the heck is that? So first of all, we gotta make a fire charge. There we go. And now we have everything we need. Just put the gunpowder in, the gas tears in the corner, fire charge, and the backpack to create the little cute gas backpack. Ta-da! So now let's just pop down here. I'm gonna put the pink backpack on the pink, obviously. Cute. And then this ghast one is gonna have to go on this white one up here. Oh, that's cute. Um, we've also got this green and blue one, so I think I'm gonna put that on this blue here. <gasps> cute! And then what do we do with the cake? I might put it on the red. I'm happy with this. So that's it for this episode of Crazy Craft. If you are wondering where my duplicated Big Bertha went, it is now in the possession of CPK. I put together a little scavenger hunt for him. So if you wanna check out how I tested him to make sure he was worthy of the sword, then go over to his channel and check out that video. Don't forget to leave a like on this video though before you leave. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you next time.